Hey everybody, it's Lisa Young Sutton with a live quickie for you. One of my grooming clients asked me to help her. She's brand new to the cards and has been asking a question. Why are none of the men I meet interested in me? And so she's starting out with a bad question and she wasn't even sure exactly what information she was looking for in the cards and she kept asking the same question over and over because she would lay um, she was laying five card spreads and they didn't make any sense to her so she kept asking over oh look at this oh my gosh all right anyway okay so we agreed upon a better question and that is in what area of my life will I meet Mr. Wright okay she said the last two guys she dated, uh, she met at work, and I haven't even seen my work card yet, but what I can tell you already, I'm looking at this and seeing what's going to transpire. Um, dogs are her children, are her hobby. She um, does everything with her dogs. She competes in agility. She shows dogs. Um, yeah, so, you know, obviously the man would have to uh, like dogs at least. But, okay, we're reading the cards descriptively. The question is, in what area of my life will I meet Mr. Wright? I am only looking at the cards around 28 and seeing what cards connect these two. I am not looking at the rest of this spread at all. If you want, you can turn all the other cards upside down so they do not bother you but I wouldn't discard them because very often uh, you want them you want to see where things are leading but to keep this short and simple what I can say is that the next man first of all he uh, word of him or communication from him is going to come right to her the rider brings something to the seeker she's the seeker the rider says this is going to happen fairly soon uh, plus, uh, he's, he's just out of her comfort zone, so they're pretty close together. They're in the same line of sight. So, yeah, this is going to happen fairly soon. Dog and house tells me it could be a family friend, but either way, even if it's not, this tells me it's probably someone she's familiar with that she knows, someone close to home, right? <laughs> the dog, the ways in the garden. This tells me she's going to meet him in her along her her paths or along her travels with her dogs possibly at an event a dog show a, an agility trial we got all kinds of uh she's also a hiker um here we have the bear in the mountain you know out in the wilderness but uh, that's further away so i think she's going to meet him at a dog event and um yeah but like i said she doesn't have to knock herself out because the word about him or word from him is going to come right to her. This could also be the uh, guy who um, who she pays to cut her grass. <laughs> she, you know, I'll have to ask her about that. Anyway, um, but yeah, it looks like it's going to be someone related to her her uh, her dog hobby rather than at work. Okay, so you could also lay a, a petite tableau for this. And I'm not going to go any further because this is just a live quickie. But if you want to uh, see other things in these cards and uh, leave them in the comments, you know, whatever you see, that would be great. Um, but other, other than that, like I said, you could also lay a petite tableau. And what I would do um, is watch my petite tableau videos and you'll see how to do it because you would take 28 and 29 out and, and set them aside and then you would shuffle well and then draw 16 cards, just put them in a pile face down and then add 28 and 29 to them, then shuffle well and then you would lay out your petite tableau. You could lay out uh, five by three plus three, right? Three lines of five and then, oops, and then three at the bottom. Um, but I like to have every card at my disposal and uh, there you have it. Okay, so I hope that was fun and informative as always, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.